Hello Linux lovers, the portable Linux gaming handheld machine Steam Deck was released this week. Here are five brand new games and additional content also released this week, some great, some bad. Hidden Western, released 23rd February. This is a hidden object game, in which you need to find objects with a certain design and click on them with the mouse. This must be an older game they had lying around. Sometimes it's better not to release your older works. Like most of their previous games this one suffers from insane aberration which makes the edges of the screen very blurry. That's not a good idea with a hidden object game. The audio volume settings do save, but only get applied after the rather tragic music starts to blur. As for the hidden object game part, well, it's a western scenario tossed together from assets without any rhyme nor reason. Some items are pretty damn small, the previews also tiny and while the game claims you are supposed to find all similar items, you can't. You'll have to click exactly the one the game wants you to click, and if you happen to click on another identical item, the game deducts one found item. Did I mention the game is about 10 gigabytes on your hard drive? Because of the inane he'd engine all games made with its ship with all assets included in that abomination. As usual, all three operating system versions are included in the download, tripling the size. Add all this to the insane asking price of over 8 bucks before discount, and what do you get? A big fat avoid. Scores, cost 3, look 1, idea 1, play 1. Total 6. Chronicon. Ancient Beasts, released 25th of February 2022. This content requires the base game Chronicon on Steam in order to play. Find and raise ancient beasts that will follow you on your adventures, staying out of combat, carrying your loot and powerful new artifact items. I love the concept of this content. I enjoy pets in games and grinding. Chronicon is one of my favorite games because I can have multiple summon builds and collect lots of loot, and it's fun the whole time. My problem with this content is it's just not fun because it just feels like a grind for the sake of grinding. The way this content is designed reminds of a bit of how it feels playing World of Warcraft these days. It felt like a chore to unlock the pet and a chore for everything else. I did so many runs for materials, and it felt unrewarding in the end. I think what's there is well done and obviously had a lot of thought and effort. It was quite inexpensive, and I've gotten some hours out of it today, so the value is there. I think if the earlier stages of getting the beast and initial progression of the beast tree was a bit faster paced, it'd be a lot better for me personally. Also, not sure if I missed anything, but it wasn't very clear where specific materials could be found besides expeditions or anomalies so I wasted a lot of my precious time. I doubt I will continue to play this content as it is, but if you like the sort of grind I described then you might like how this plays. Scores, cost 3, look 2, idea 5, play 2. Total 12. Graph War, released 23rd February. This is an artillery game in which you must hit your enemies using mathematical functions. The trajectory of your shot is determined by the function you wrote, and your goal is to avoid the obstacles and your teammates and hit your enemies. The premise is fantastic, although I wish the manual, or maybe even the game itself, contained more details on how the maths behind the construction of the function works exactly, for example, what is the maximum length of the trajectory after which it will explode. Also, it would be nice to have a grid on the game screen and more information about scale, Right now I feel like I am just shooting functions and wildly guessing the parameters until I get a general idea of which functions end up where on the map, while I could be using information about start and end point and obstacle positions to do actual maths before firing instead. I really hope the developer will continue to work on this game and introduce some of these changes to make the maths more explicit, because I really do believe there could be something truly great here. But even if there won't be any updates it has been lots of fun already, totally worth it, especially for a free game. Make a graph, not war. Scores, cost 5, look 1, idea 4, play 3. Total 13. Raifu Wars, out of early access and the full release on 22nd February. In this game, 
You strategize and battle for victory in this World War II themed online multiplayer turn-based strategy featuring bolt action rifle girls. I would only recommend this if you have friends to play with. From what I've seen, no one plays this game online, and the AI are pretty easy to beat without any difficulty settings I know of. Buying this game without anyone to play with feels like buying a board game without any friends to join you, it's just not worth it. The art is simple, but it works for this kind of game. Only issue I have is that all the trees and obstacles can get kind of confusing, but that may just be me. Gameplay is pretty fun, each turn being fairly quick and simple, so there's not too much waiting around for your turn. My only complaint is attack range can seem kinda strange, I don't know if I missed something, but it does sometimes feel like I can hit an enemy across the map, but then one that's only 5 or so tiles away I can't even aim at. So, if you want a simple, dumb fun board game with a decent bit of strategy mixed with luck, and you have some people to play with, I do recommend Rifle Wars. Scores, Cost 4, Look 3, Idea 3, Play 3, Total 13. Total War, Warhammer 3, Ogre Kingdoms, released 24th of February 2022. This content requires the base game Total War, Warhammer 3 on Steam in order to play. The first race pack for the game, it introduces the Ogres. Tough, vicious and driven by ravenous appetites. Ogres rely on meat to sustain their armies and have to stay near deployable camps until they have enough to venture off. Battles and sacking give you meat, but armies can take up to 20 a turn, and if you aren't careful with venturing off or wandering the rifts you can eat up your max storage of 300 an army quick. The ranged units the Ogres have been alright, but a dozen small ranged units can easily overwhelm a formation, so you'll always want to keep pushing and not let them pick away at you. They dominate melee if paired with the right units, and their access to more and fire magic are pretty cool. I'm sure giant and stone horns are good, but I only use them as meat shields. Overall I love them to death couldn't have asked for a better faction now if I can just garrison a lizard men faction and get access to their roster I'll be completely happy. Scores, cost 1, look 5, idea 5, play 4, total 15. If you enjoyed this video, then please either like or subscribe.